Good day, everybody. My name is John Ukewale, and uh, it's great that I can actually have you to listen to this. It's actually supposed to be the first meeting for the BAM for Scratch movement. Well, I have a slight presentation that I've actually created, and I would go over the presentation shortly. And uh, then I uh, will expect that you follow suit with the information that I've, um, I'll be able to provide during the course of this presentation. Well, before I do that, I see Rose Funja coming on. Let me see if we can actually have our online, uh, online in this chat, a video chat. Hello, Rose. Hello, Rose. I'm, I'm trying to put that on. Hello, Rose. Hi, but I'm Hello, still Rose. muted. Can you? Uh, I can hear you very well right now. Can you hear me? And how are you? Can you hear me, please? Yes, I can. Okay, I, I'm, I'm putting your video on right now. Good. Hope I you can see me right now. Yes, I can. Yeah, hello. Hi. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, hi. How are you doing? Yes, so how are you? I'm fine. And you? How I'm has so it been with you over there? Very, very good. All right. Very good, yeah. Okay, good. It's, it's good I can actually uh, see your face again after Bordeaux. Uh, exactly, it likewise. Really nice. it was, yeah. It was really nice work, you know. So uh -huh. that, 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 that's all right. I was about to do this recording when, because you are the only one right now, I was okay. actually expecting Max and Simon and Samson. But I think perhaps maybe they're having issues with their connection or whatever. So while we're going to do uh, a, a talk about it, let me just quickly do uh, a, a slight presentation. I did a PowerPoint presentation that I wanted to, to kickstart things. Well, okay. I know you already have the document. I mean, you're already on the document, so you should be able to see uh, follow through with everything. But let me just quickly do that so that for the benefit of those people that are going to watch this video, because it's actually being recorded right now. Okay. So, uh, okay, so le le let, me, let me quickly do the screen share and do the presentation, then we'll, we'll talk over uh, you know, the different kinds of things that we need to discuss about. All right. Okay, good. But I think I'll also yeah. mute the video just because I, I think it's just consuming too much and the video. Yeah. Okay, 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 no problem. All right. Yeah. Okay, you, but you can see me, right? Yes, I can see the screen. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay, fine. Uh, so uh, we we there's this little uh, agenda that we're supposed to have, but basically uh, there's no pro point going through so much. So we've had from Rose Funja already. So now we we'll just quickly go to how we got here uh, uh -huh. in some in some three minutes. So. Uh, yeah, uh, before Scratch 2017, uh, Bordeaux, the Scratch conference at Bordeaux, uh, will, there have been several initiatives that people have been having. Now, I've actually picked these links up from, uh, from one of the pages from the Scratch Bordeaux site. Now, uh -huh. this were, these were the presentations that were done uh, at the Nairobi conference in April. Um, yeah. Funding workshops, Mercatili program, 
she codes for change where fab could could uh, code codet make a mind uh hello Hi, who, who's on that's black yeah okay Ma max is here okay good yeah oh are you doing welcome Mark? aboard <laughs> oh yeah. oh my goodness okay 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 we're, we're we're glad that you're able to join us so i was actually doing <clears throat> a brief a brief presentation that we're going to the discussion fully so you will see you will see this but you see something like before scratch 2017 bordeaux uh, the things that have actually been done across africa now i africa code week i think it's uh, that it started in 2015 so and it has actually incorporated a whole lot of scratch into it uh, for development for the training of the key uh, the Oh my God, that's me. In my... Sorry okay. for that. No problem, no problem. Yeah. So now, uh, so many things have actually been done before Scratch uh, Bordeaux, but something unique came up in Scratch Bordeaux, and is the fact that uh, that was the first time that we have a Scratch conference that we incorporate more of African. Uh, activities into it, thanks to Jack uh, Van Motford and all the other organizers of Scratch Bordeaux, they made it a point of duty to make sure that they carry uh, Africa along in the Scratch conference. The Scratch conference has actually been old in, since I think 2008 now, 2006. Um, I don't mind me, I'm mixing some things up there. But uh, Scratch Bordeaux is the first time that. Africa will have a presentation, and now here we have uh, these are the links, and for people that participated in Scratch Bordeaux, they understand all the things that then. But before Scratch Bordeaux that was held in July, we had the Scratch Nairobi, and uh, it was organized. Uh, Max is here, so Max was the key host of the Scratch Nairobi conference too, as well. So. Uh, it was a kind of a pre-scratch Bordeaux for Africans to join the full scratch conference at Bordeaux. And it was really, really a success. Uh, all the links that I showed earlier on were, uh, were profiled and there were a lot of activities that were displayed at the Scratch Nairobi conference. Then, Scratch Bordeaux in July. So, during the Scratch Bordeaux, we had this. There was an opportunity for a Scratch uh, uh, Africa keynotes, a joint keynotes session that we all had. The picture that you're having on, on the background is Samson Goody that was not able to make it because of the famous uh, visa issue and all that. But everyone that were standing here, I think uh, Max is here. Max is actually standing beside Rose. So fortunately, both of you are on right now. So, uh, and everyone, Alphonse, this is John, this is Tare. Uh, okay, I've forgotten her name now. This is Fleur and this is Marianne, Rose, Max, Adele, then this is Tare's father, and this is Simon. So everyone was able to make a presentation uh, during the keynote, and from here, we started to talk about Scratch Africa Conference, the international conference in Scra uh, of Scratch in Africa. Now, uh, uh, at the back page of uh, the program of the Scratch Bordeaux Conference, there was already a challenge that the organizers made there that Scratch 2019 Africa, uh, and there was a question mark there. So everybody was kind of like, okay, let's start to think about it. And the, the World Bank for Scratch came up during this, uh, keynotes to one of the keynotes that John did was just basically talking about building African momentum for Scratch. So that was where the World Bank for Scratch actually came up. So now, building African momentum for Scratch is actually a movement from a uh, from my perspective, and I, I I will leave the floor for everybody to actually make a uh, discussion about that. Uh, uh, the spin-offs for a movement, you know, start from a conference to 
uh, codepreneurs, entrepreneurs in coding uh, and code clubs, professional development, and more to make a, 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 an impact on the new, uh, 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 we call it, uh, coding is actually another literacy right now in, uh, in, across the world. Now, we, you need to speak uh, the coding language. It's, it, it, it is one way to which you get things done, this kind of way. So now, uh, Scratch is just basically talking, I mean, Bam for Scratch is actually talking about how do we uh, prop up the, mo uh, the, uh, the momentum of Scratch so that it would continue to uh, expand the horizon of coding in Africa. So that, that, is, that is just what I have briefly here. And uh, I, I believe that uh, we, we can actually start to discuss about that. So Rose, um, OK, uh, let, me, let, me, let me come to you. Hello, Rose. Yes, can you hear me? OK, good. Uh, yes, I can hear you clearly. Um, <clears throat> Involved in Scratch for over some. I just wanted you to give a, a bit of an uh, a, 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 an impression about your thoughts about Bam for Scratch, Scratch for Africa, and uh, what, what were your takeoffs from the Bordeaux conference, and how do you how have you been taking it on since then? Let me hear from you. Let us hear from you, basically. All right. So. Um... When we were at Bodo, it was, uh, we had done a bit of scratch before, and I think this was also part of my presentation. We uh, took an initiative to do MIT App Inventor with our students. So mostly that was our focus for most of our trainings with the students and the exposure uh, towards STEM mm -hmm. to them. And uh, what happened was that uh, with a scratch uh, at Bordeaux, it was like more of an eye opener, what more we could do with the kids. We could bring in scratch into most of our uh, trainings with them. So um, as part of our 2018, now the workshops that we're going to do in 2018, we have a target of, uh, close to a thousand students across Tanzania and in different schools. And our main, so the main theme for us in these trainings, it's all about Scratch. We've taken, mm -hmm. uh, we've taken a look at uh, the, a lot of other things that we could do. And one of them has been Tato Stitch, if you do remember uh, stitching, coding, and then stitching it up to do different patterns. We've actually even That's contacted uh, Simon. If he was here, he would have told you that he has, he has done um, like pilot trainings with the kids okay. on Pato Stitch. We've been in touch with Suzanne. Um, I think she's either in okay. Virginia, if I'm not mistaken, because my partner, Bella, mm. actually the one you forgot when you are, you are doing the lineup. Her name is Isabella. She's okay, just okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, she's okay. just returned from the US and she she got in touch with Susan. Right. And um, the main point was uh, we are collaborating with them. Uh, the other person that we've been working closely and we've made develop development on that was Zoe. You remember the one who was doing Ada Ada Ada? We've had a couple uh, yes, of yes, yes, yes. We've had a couple of e meetings and one of our uh, one of our colleague in the team in team she holds her name is Doreen she's going to be in uh, in the UK in London come January and the main thing is to see how one she could turn Ada Ada into Swahili and we're mm, already okay. planning with Zo wow. to have Ada Ada in uh, in Tanzania by April so we'll have two events, we plan for two events. One of the events uh, will be in English, the other one in Swahili. So we have a bigger vision on how we are incorporating Scratch and turning most of our training into Scratch-related. 
that's our view. And um, as far as um, building momentum for scratch within Africa, we think that come 20, uh, 20, uh, 2019, we'll have, we'll have exposed enough students towards scratch. And this will be the people who will actually uh, be part, at least take part in these conferences. Because uh, to me, it's no use uh, having a conference when people have no idea of what you're talking about. Mm. So we, yeah, so like I said, our target is to have a thousand students who are exposed uh, towards Scratch in different kind of ways. And um, the way we're doing it, uh, we think actually by 2018 itself, when we're having the conference in, uh, in, at MIT, we think we'll have, we'll have enough stories to actually share. But then that is also towards having 2019 having the actual because we can only do so much in uh, in the in the US at MIT ground we hope that uh, we can actually showcase much more of what scratch is being done and then having uh, enough good stories that can actually uh, become a building case in a nutshell we build we Turn around. It was good enough that we had three people in Bordeaux, so it was not the convincing was very low. Uh, we had three people, and our team is not very big. It's uh, around seven or so members. So three of us already were convinced, and that is that is what has happened. We've come back. We've planned our plan for next year. Is all built around scratch. Wow, that, that's, that's, that's a big that's one. A big I, I, feel like, I feel like giving you a, a clap on that, on the presentation, <laughs> because it, absolutely, because you've actually done so much uh, in, since you came back from Bordeaux, and it's, it, you know, I knew about the Ada Ada. I've actually had a video chat with Ada Ada too. And okay. uh, yeah, so let me quickly ask you this question before uh, we get across to Max. Now, what is what is the what is your what is the strength of the number of students you are targeting? Like, do you have a kind of a number target? Like, okay, you are thinking of ten thousand uh, young children, and uh, or how many are you targeting? Then what? Well, that's one. Then two is the fact that uh, is it just in a location that you are doing your project, or you are spreading it across? cities in Tanzania? Okay, so um, just uh, if I can go back and also add that we've also worked with uh, Pocket Code. If you remember, Pocket Code was um, Scratch on a mobile. Mm, yeah. Uh, yes, so we've worked with them. We've actually done a whole Swahili version that has uh, wow, recently been good. released. It's mm. another thing that we've done. Uh, when it comes to numbers, our target for next year, which is 2018, is to have a thousand students, and that is across okay, Tanzania. Mm, also okay, had, okay. Oh. Uh, we've also had um, a target of taking it in the eastern of Africa, but um, I cannot say much about that because we are working with partners, like ITU mm, is okay. one of the partners, so. Uh, it, it was it was to be definitely done by November this year, but then once we took the idea to them, they sort of broadened it up, and we've had other okay. other partners who have come into that play, like the UN Women. Mm. So now it's actually bigger than us. If if I say anything, I'll be lying at this point because there there are more bigger people who are actually discussing it and making decision at that level. <laughs> that, that that's that's, that's, that's a very, very good, good one. one. <laughs> it, it, it's it's really interesting that it's really interesting that you have actually been doing a whole lot of things. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good subject. It's a good subject. One thousand and um, let let let's see how it's a uh, good. Okay, let's get to quickly get to Max and Max. Are you there? 
I see him here. Maybe he's muted. Uh, okay, let, let, me, let me try to check that. Uh, never mind. Hello, Matt. Hello. Let me. Can you hear me? I, I'm trying to bring him up. He's not muted. I, I'm not sure what's happening to him. Okay. Uh, sorry, maybe the net is having connectivity issues. Okay, so good. Uh, you have actually given us a whole lot of things to ponder on, and uh, so many people will kind of like because that's one of the reasons why we need to have like this because now we we'll get to know what everybody is actually doing, and now we can actually get uh, into or get on board. You know, exactly. the, the different kind of. Yeah. Exactly. So, hey, hello, Max. Yeah, we've actually been looking out for you. We wanted to. Are you, are you back? <clears throat> oh. Great, great. So, thank you, Max. It's 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 just plans. There's a whole lot of work that has to be done. <laughs> I, never mind. Yeah, I, I'm actually feeling jealous here because I wanted to kind of like rule like uh, Rose and Simon and every one of them over there. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's really, really great. So, Max, what, what have you been doing at uh, uh, Nairobi? Let, let, let's hear from you, please. Okay, good. Well... Yeah, I think Max Max connectivity has been failing us. Oh, and I love that baritone voice. All right, okay. there's no problem. Let, 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 let's go on while we wait for him to reconnect back. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So now, uh, we let me quickly give you something. Is something would have actually explained some things that has actually been going on from his own part. To something was able to go uh, to uh, MIT. Uh, uh, in October, and um, he basically it was in MIT, he was in Google too, so he was able to like make some uh, reach out. Or stuff. Okay, Matt is coming with his video now. He okay. is visiting, I resolved that. Yeah, a, 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 as good as I thought it was. There's no problem. Yeah, we're we're getting better. Don't worry. Yeah, we know we're in <laughs> Africa, so there's a problem. Yeah. So. Okay. Can you quickly come up with some things that you want to discuss with us? Yeah, no, I was I was just saying, you know, we've had a few scratch trainings and we've had a few engagements with Turtle Stitch. There's a there's a team here that was working on Turtle Stitch that's very excited to to mm -hmm. has gone again. Has my network no, Yeah, no, we are hearing you. We are we, we are hearing hear you. you. We, are, we can hear you. Okay, okay. And yeah, we're excited to do a project in Turtle Stitch, hopefully presented at MIT. Uh, next year and probably try and do some IoT stuff before then. Um, I mean, we, we don't have a, a grand vision like Rose has. Um, I, I don't know how we can we can link up and assist Rose in, in her vision because uh, on my end, I'm, I'm juggling kind of the universe. Max? I, 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 hope, I hope we don't lose Max again. Oh... All right. Okay. There's no problem. So uh, I think he was talking about Tutu Stitch, and I think there there have been a whole lot of work on Tutu Stitch in the UK, in Europe, across Europe. Uh, okay. Uh, That's awesome. Richard Smallwood, Ma yeah. Max Amond. I've actually been seeing a whole lot of things that they have actually been they have been doing some terrific things, and that's one of. And I'm really excited that uh, you are you have actually been doing something on that. Uh, that that's going to really really be very fun for the young lads. Yeah. Okay, so Max, are you here? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're with you.
All right. Uh, that, that, sorry, that, that's a good one, uh, Max. I, I, I want to ask, uh, like in your university, like how many people are working already with you on Scratch projects right now? Okay, three of you. Okay, good. Because now, uh, one of those key things that I, I, from what Rose said, and from what you said right now, and from what I've actually been able to see around is this. Now, uh, our, our focus uh, matters in what we are doing right now. While uh, short-term uh, uh, things that I mean, we do are very, very good, we need to look at the long-term effects and impact of things and plan for the long term. And that's why the conference is also very good because now I come from the aspect of the fact that uh, we need to expand uh, reach to especially teachers in secondary schools and maybe in the universities. That was why I asked Mark, maybe you kind of like, maybe if you have a computer science department, uh, you, need, you can actually create a, a, a kind of an arrangement for you people, it's because now we we are supposed to we are, we need to start to plan for the long haul. I don't know if, if you are getting what I'm trying to say here now, because now we can actually have few uh, uh, bright spots and funds like Samsung and uh, you know for over the years, but it's very very important that we think of an expansion. The difficult part is that we are getting those people because it's going to require some funding and commitment and all that. But at the same time, it's something that we should start to think of and how to bring more people, more ends to work with us. Like what Mark talked about synergy with uh, what uh, Rose and uh, all the other folks are doing in Tanzania is very, very important. Now, the uh, the uh, both within the countries and across, uh, and across countries in regions, we need to start to collaborate and partner and really work together. I don't know if you really get what I'm trying to push out at this moment. Rose? Hello? Okay, Rose is muted. Rose, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What about you? Okay. Okay, yeah, I can hear you right now. Hope you have yeah, so, some things that I talked about shortly. I did, I did. And I just okay. want to expound and explain exactly how are we reaching the 1,000 um, students because it's exactly what you, you've said. Okay, good. Wow, good. We know, we know that uh, we need sustainability and that uh, it will take a lot of funds for us to actually meet the 1,000 students that we are, we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is uh, come Girls in ICT in April uh, 2018, that will be our launch for Scratch within secondary school. And then okay. we'll, we'll take a number of secondary schools, so roughly like around 10, and that's where we'll do uh, training for between 200 to 300 students. Oh, and then after that, we'll mm. hold those ones. But then during that training, we'll also do a training for teachers. Great. We'll take a number of teachers that will impact what Scratch can do. And then our intention is that the rest, about 700 students, will be students of these teachers. And we, we plan to put up like a sort of a challenge. And this challenge will have a, a summit to a climax by um, October when it's Africa Code Week. So that's, that's mm -hmm. the approach that we're taking. We're trying to juggle around the funds that we actually need to make this happen, but then also look at the sustainability model because um, we're only with the girls for some period over time during that training mm. but going back when they're going back to their schools then we need for them to have that support of the teachers who knows what they've learned and how they can support them further so we're actually Absolutely. looking at that sustainability part of it mm, mm, mm. yeah I, I, and i think that that is 
very, very important. You have actually done, I mean, your, I mean your, what you have actually presented, you have actually presented with, the, uh, uh, the, the process that you're going about it is really, really uh, impressive. And I believe that, that, that uh, the sustainability aspect is very key for the future. So that you you will just be able to uh, do your the spark, and the ignite moment, and they will take it up. Okay. So now quickly, yeah, so that sure. I will not take uh, I will not take so much of your time. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the conference a bit, though the light document is actually there. But let me just quickly uh, brief uh, brief us on that. Uh, I've actually been talking with Juke. Uh, since we left uh, Bordeaux, actually we met at Budapest too, and an island. So we talked so much about the Scratch conference, and they've actually given some information that I'm going to share later on. But at the same time, uh, we've actually been talking with uh, Samson was able to meet with Mitch Resnick when he was in uh, he was at MIT, and he talked so much about Scratch conference and all of those things like that. And fortunately. Uh, you have actually been talking with uh, Ada, 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 the, uh, Zoe. Uh, I've actually spo I've spoken with Zoe too, and we're uh, uh, now uh, everyone doing some wonderful things uh, across Europe and especially in the US. Uh, we have uh, them at the, at the at our beck and call. So, but it's now a function of us making a decision on how we're going to start up a conference. My first thought I'm going to talk about drop right now and I uh, would want you to comment on that is the fact that uh, uh, Scratch Conference, uh, I, I think for Africa, Scratch Conference should be something that should be coming often, as in uh, we should be having the Scratch Conference uh, maybe like every two, two years. Uh, and, and we should be going across cities. It is, uh, I think it is one way to make sure that we create a buzz for uh, Scratch across Africa. Now, and uh, if we're able to like take it across cities, then we'll, take, we'll do a whole lot of things for coding generally across Africa, and we would create a lot of hype we create a, a, so much uh, work together, and so many people will come up with different things that they, are, they have been doing already. Now, uh, what Bordeaux did for us in Africa, we should be able to like, replicate it more in Africa. People are doing a whole lot of awesome, uh, awesome things that we need to share across so that we can actually partner and strengthen the bond. I, that is my first thing about it. So what do you think, Rose, or what's your thoughts about the conference? I agree. I do agree that uh, with a conference, then we can create that buzz. Mm -hmm. And um, but then I think we should uh, be a bit careful that we should start with the capacity that we have. We shouldn't be thinking about uh, cities. Maybe we should just think about a country right now, and mm -hmm. then from there, as as we we start sparking then I'm sure it will spread out to now uh, having different countries and then we have one summit as Africa and then, and I agree on the two years, uh, what you've just okay. uh, proposed. So I, I think I'm mostly in agreement and um, I'm, I think we should just get ready for 2019 and see what okay. we can do. I don't know whether we're going to do the whole big scratch or we just do something for Africa and then um, join them for the for the one that, because because uh, I I also saw that you went to Budapest, so I'm a bit confused. Exactly. Like, is is this like there's that is done in different countries or or how does it work? Okay, um, I I think let 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 me put this across. Uh, in I I I was able to go through uh, all these kinds of conferences were organized. Uh, and there, like two scratch conferences were organized uh, in uh, Europe this uh, this year. Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, two scratch conferences were organized in Europe this year: the one in Budapest and the one in Bordeaux. But 
previously, I think it has actually been one uh, in holding in just one city, but I think this year it was two cities, and it's like uh, it's expanding. It's really not on a. It, it depends on uh, which organization is ready to foot the bills. I think right now. So, but oh. now, uh, yeah. So that, that's what. It, so and you, the Buddha first one came up because. Uh, FRM Systems was able to foot the bill and do the conference, while the one at Bordeaux was actually done in conjunction with uh, uh, Juke and all the other partners in Europe as well. So it, 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 it was a very big thing. Now, now I, uh, I don't know what they are planning for next year yet. Perhaps maybe I can actually get we can actually get more information about that. But now I I think that since it's holding in Europe and Africa and Europe seems to work together to, uh, in a whole lot of things, I, I would actually love that uh, if they are holding scratch conferences, let's assume they are holding it maybe two, two years too as well, because they had one, uh, the Barcelona one in 2013, the Amsterdam one in 2015, then Bordeaux in 2017. So it's like it's following up a, a, a buying but I, I'm not speaking for them right now. But basically, what I'm saying is that if we can actually have it in such a way that we we'll have uh, uh, Africa Scratch Conference coming in an alternate year to Europe Conference, it will really be because of a whole lot of things uh, and all that uh, funding and showcasing and working together as well. Because I really believe that we can actually follow up with the momentum in Europe and co uh, collaborate with uh, them in Europe from Africa's perspective to be able to like, expand this uh, 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 the project, the conferences, and uh, as it were. And what you talked about uh, as far as the country level, yeah, I so much agree with you on that. Uh, it, it will be organized by countries. Uh, I've actually started to figure out a whole lot of things. Okay, well, I'm from Nigeria, and I've started to think of which organization can actually pay, uh, or which organizations can pay for a scratch conference in Nigeria, and I've started to look at all the other ones. So now it's just a function of thinking about uh, those ones that we can actually work with and we can start to stock with right now in other countries across Africa or multinationals. Uh, on what they can actually work a long way for us on the Scratch conference. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So 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 that's just it. so now. Uh, sorry. Uh, I think we'll be rounding off shortly. Uh, the live documents that we have on 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 the Google Doc. Uh, uh, we, I'm going to. I've actually. Uh, I noted now some of the things that you talked about. So we're going to like place it there, but. Most importantly, okay, I think let me quickly see if I can actually share that so that uh, we'll see it. I'm coming just, just a minute. So we'll just a, uh, uh, I want to share that page, okay. Uh, I'm going to change the page right now. Uh, um, let me see. Not yet. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm seeing can't. that now. Okay, you can see. Now, so under the conference, I have uh, objective, target, sustainability. We've talked about sustainability already right now. Frequency, we talked about frequency already. Then the scope, we talked a bit about scope, then venue, we, we, we're looking at uh, a country level. Then dates, we said two, two years, the funding. So now we've actually mentioned some of the things that we need to really talk about, uh, 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 about Scratch. Uh -huh. So we, uh, in, in the next couple of uh, days, uh, uh, we, we, should, uh, we should be able to, I mean, add to this information so that we can actually start to follow up with it. Then under sponsorships, yeah, uh, someone already uh, mentioned SAP. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, they are the ones that support Africa could be. I think we can actually have more. Uh, I've actually not put uh, MIT uh, found, uh, the Scratch Foundation there, 
because Scratch Foundation will actually support in one way or the other eventually. So, but I'm not putting them as a primary target for us. We should think of all the other organizations that could actually you know, work with us and even uh, countries. Then there is this, uh, I'm going to add it sh uh, shortly. They, uh, there's this uh, pro program um, conference that used to take place in Africa annually, the e-learning Africa conference. I don't know if you have heard of it before. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm I'm going to share information about that. Uh, it, it, they they they've actually been able to have a very good model to which they are using to run uh, the e-learning Africa conference, and they take it across nations uh, of Africa annually. So we can actually learn some things from their model for us to design the Scratch uh, conferences model too. So I'm going to put uh, add information about that. So to more people. Uh, uh, on Tuesday, we're going to have another uh, meeting and uh, we're going to do an extension of this. Some of the things that we've talked about right now, we're going to add it and we're going to go further on that. The people that were not able to like make it to this meeting, I think some of them will be able to make it on Tuesday. Then we'll do some further talk about it. Then specific, we'll kind of like add some specifics. So if you have some things in mind about like uh, some of the things that you talked about right now, uh, if you can actually just do a brief and add it to this page, it will be very fantastic. I really appreciate it uh, because you've talked, I noted some things. So if you put it out, I'm just going to add to it as well. So now, uh, uh, the initiatives that you're already working on in Tanzania, just give, give us okay. a brief and, put, uh, and add it up to the document here so that people will see then it will motivate others to be able to add some of the things that they are working on so uh, i want us to start to have an, a, a knowledge of what is happening across africa so that we can see how we can actually work with uh, uh, with ourselves to make it much more better excuse me <coughs> so now oh, so, so that just so on tuesday we're going to have a meeting and we're going to you know really go further on it they will now have a team that will uh, for the uh, conference i i think you already added and everyone else uh, something's here simon the marion also is on board to be part of the team so we'll start to see how we we'll work together and we'll be generating more information so if we're able to whatever we're able to like discuss and we'll be able to like come up with some decisions before the end of this year then 2018 will know what we're going to do throughout 2018 you know that will be a kind of a precursor for 2019 so i think um uh, any let me ask you any final words from you before we round up this no i, I think i'm excited i and i like the sound of this the fact that uh, we are preparing for 2018 so that we see uh, what we can do in 2019. I think we're right on time to do it right now. And okay. thank you for taking up the initiative for like kickstarting this. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, we, we, it, we, we are all together in this and we just have to get it done because we, it's, it's our responsibility to, since we are like the innovators that we are ahead, we need to carry uh, the whole chain uh, along, and it's very, very important. So, and I really, I'm really excited about what you are doing already. Uh, you know, when I spoke with uh, Zoe, Zoe was talking about the fact that they're going to premiere uh, the Ada Ada uh, project. And yeah, and, we, we, and, we're excited about that. So, um, uh, fingers crossed for 2018. Uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, we are thinking of something like that too, as well. Uh, and uh, if it's if we're able to like work around, yeah, Max, you are on. I didn't uh, mute you. Oh, that's amazing. When when is uh, the other show coming to Tanzania? So we're thinking of launching it in April. We'll have definite dates come January. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. That's wonderful. Is there any chance they can stop by Nairobi? Oh, there yeah. is, <laughs> there is actually. So, like I said, our our view is East African. Yeah. So okay. uh, we we'll launch it here, and um, what what we've been able to do or plan for is that uh, one of our colleague is going to go on the ground in London with Zoe, sit with her, 
learn the whole thing. Um, we, we don't only depend on Zo, and Zo was happy to do that. So I'm like, that's good. Then we can also have it because in reality, when we come to Tanzania, we really not, not many people understand or speak English. So uh, for us, for us to get the gist of it and people to actually understand it, we need to customize it in such a way that it's told and the people can relate to that story. So that's what our colleague is going to be doing in January. But then mm. as all will be here, hopefully, uh, then we do that launch together. But then our view from that is to go East African. So yes, definitely there's a chance for them to stop by in Nairobi as well. Mm. So it's a pity that it, we cannot, like I, I said the other project, we cannot uh, per se speak for it right now. But I think with time, we'll be able to share the details and Max, uh, before this, you said on how we can put synergies together, definitely. You saw that we had started asking out you guys. So it's a pity that we could not do the yeah. November program, but it's still, it's still in, uh, in the pipeline. Wow. So we, yeah, we, we're, uh, we're, looking, we're looking to working together with all these resources that we, we had from uh, Bordeaux. And now, now that we come to Africa, we, we need that energy and the help. So we're thinking of all that you guys have to offer. As we're planning, we, we have that in our minds. Okay, sounds that, that, good. I think, I think we'll follow yeah. up. Simon, I'm Simon, going to find you. Up. You're just coming in. I'm going to find you for that. <laughs> you're just coming in. We're about rounding off. Yeah, so Simon, Simon, you're going to talk right now, but let me just quickly re uh, respond to what uh, Rose just talked about. I, I think uh, we, uh, we are going to, uh, Zoe too, was to, we are talking about April, but I've actually not done anything so much about it right now. Okay. If I'm able to double up in the next couple of weeks, then we might have uh, uh, the Ada Ada project coming across West Africa to not just East Africa, because you don't have to be ahead in that. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so, right. so, so that, that, that's the situation. <laughs> so let's allow Simon to talk. Simon, we'll just give you one minute. That we're doing here. Um, but I think this being yeah, this being the first hangout uh, that we're having for Bank for Scratch, um, I think uh, we have a great opportunity ahead of us in this coming Scratch conference to show uh, that we are ready to host, you know, a Scratch Africa conference. Um, and I think the, all the good stories that we've been doing, uh, the good stories that are going to come with the projects that we're going to do with Scratch should actually be amplified and we should begin talking about them on social media and writing about them such that we can show uh, what we're doing. Wow, that, that, that's, that's yeah. great. Uh, yeah, Rose already spoke to us about uh, some things. And you actually, uh, when we're on Twitter, you, you had one of those ones that were giving me some really, a real tough challenge that this guy get off and start to work. You know, so I'm actually, I'm working right now. So now uh, you said something uh, about Scratch conferences uh, you shared with me on Twitter. Can you, do you still remember, can you still talk about it generally, what you think about uh, the Scratch conference and now it's going to really affect uh, uh, coding generally in Africa. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think uh, the, the situation that we have on the African continent, um, at least if I speak for the case of Tanzania, is that uh, Scratch is still that uh, it's still a cool thing that is yet to be adapted and spread uh, in public education, but also in private education. So um, the work that we're going to be doing over the next uh, few months um, until we, we have the conference here is basically, uh, from my point of view, to show the global Scratch community that I think it's time to look at Africa as the next hub where a lot of Scratches are going to come from. Uh, a diverse group of Scratches are going to be. Uh, but also, I think it, it also brings the discussion of how the technology can be customized for Africa and for the situation that we're trying to implement these uh, uh, technologies in. 
So for me, it's exciting. Um, and for the team, it's, we're excited to have even this discussion. I think uh, um, we should just continue to talk about it and show that Africa is the next hub where all the scratches are going to come from. Wow, that's that's a cool one. I love that what you talked about next up, Africa being the next up. Now it's even very very important, and and I think that uh, we uh, with what we're doing right now, we need to start to uh, create this more and more because you know, like one of those things I talked about uh, at the Bordeaux conference, I was uh, you know the whole you know, population of Europe. Is, the, is equal to the population of youth in Africa. So that means that we have a whole lot of work to do in Africa to actually get across young people that are coming up and the, uh, the population is actually not reducing. So it yeah. keeps increasing. So we need to expand efforts. And uh, the, uh, the second thing that you talked about that you, we need to customize tech. I appreciate what you guys are actually doing in Tanzania, moving uh, uh, things from English to Swahili and, it's a bold step, you know, I really, really, yeah. it's really going to, it's one of form of localization. Then I hope you've been talking with Andrew uh, from the MI, uh, the from the Scratch team about localization of all these things. We spoke a little bit at the Bodu conference. Uh, we're supposed to share uh, some information of what we've done so far. And I think that's a conversation that we need to uh, push come January next year. And so this is what we've done. Um, but how okay. can we improve it? Yeah. Well, that, that, that's very, very important because now we need to just get them in so that now in the Scratch 3.0 that they are working on, uh, something can actually come up for Africa fully in the code and in what they are actually putting together. You know, so you guys are actually doing uh, some great, great things. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I want to jump into Tanzania right now and say, hey, this is John. What are you doing? I want to be part of everything. You know, it's really, really great. Yeah. So I, I think we're, before you came in, we we're, were rounding off. So people were actually giving their last word. So uh, Rose, hope you have actually not gone. <laughs> no, I, I'm still here. I think that I want to say my goodbyes now. I should be on the way. Right. This, oh, this right. I'm really happy to be here. And oh. I hope this continues exactly. and uh, build up to a day that we see a huge conference that will bring a lot of awareness about Scratch in Africa. Wow. Actually, yeah. we need it. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much. Max? Um, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. OK, good. I, I think um, my sentiment is the same as uh, Rose. I mean, let's see what kind of synergies we can, we can get. And for sure, Rose, I'll, I'll be following up via email. Maybe we'll have. Uh, separate um, hangouts just to chat about some of the stuff you're doing and some of the stuff I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Simon, I remember that uh, Andrew did promise to accept some of our Swahili suggestions on the translation system, so I, I do remember mm -hmm. that. We can follow mm -hmm. that up. But uh, mm -hmm. as far as the localization goes, it's a great effort. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'll, I'll be following up to see how uh, you know how we can carry it forward. Okay, so Simon. Final words. Simon, final words. Yeah, well, for me, I think uh, this is really great. The first hangout, although I came late, but it's really nice. I think we should get more people on board. Um, just, I think, I think we should record these hangouts. There is a way to record them on YouTube. It's, it's being recorded. recorded. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Great. It's being recorded. Um, yeah, I think when, when we do that, uh, it's, it's good for other people to join and see what we're talking about, such that we don't repeat each other. Um, otherwise, it's, I'm just excited. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So uh, the final word for me, OK, before I actually say the final thing, uh, the, record, uh, the recording, the link for the recording will be shared later on in a couple of, uh, maybe in, a, in an hour. So uh, then. Uh, on Tuesday, we're still going to have another meeting. It's been scheduled already. Yeah. Uh, OK, yeah, Rose, I saw what you posted right now. There are not many people know about Dudu. OK, uh, uh, I'm going to really say, send across to people about it again. And it's a form of letting people to re uh, know and select the time they are going to be available for meetings. So um, I'm going to share an information about that shortly. 
So I thought, now, I thought I thought Doodle was pretty cool because uh, you said your time in Nigerian time, and when I opened it, it told me my time in, in Nairobi time. Cool. That, that, that's yeah. beautiful. That's beautiful. That was yeah. Nice. So so <clears throat> what 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 uh, what we're going to do? So I'm going to share the uh, Doodle for the Tuesday meeting while I uh, this recording is going to be made available to everybody too as well. Then. We're going to update some of the information that we have actually imputed, uh, talked about right now on the working document so, so that we can actually move. Like Simon said, we would, there will not be a repetition. We'll actually be moving, and people can actually, people that join will be able to easily follow up with what is happening. So we're really doing some great stuff, and I'm really, really excited that uh, this is going on very, very well. And in 2018, I know there's going to be a whole lot of programs and events that are going to take up. Then, if we already have pre information right now, so we can actually start to share about it and talk about it on every social media. And we, if we need support in any way, we can actually draw the attention of people that we need the support from. So, for me, um, it's been great anchoring this, and uh, we'll see some other time very soon. Thank you very much, Rose, Sachs. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So good. Yeah, exactly. So, welcome, welcome. We'll we'll see you guys yeah. on Tuesday then. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, bye, Ruth. Confirm, so at this point, we're kind of looking at scouting who can be sponsors for our conference at the same time. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Good. Just, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys.